This is Chris Whalen, CPA, and welcome to the Street Level Business Podcast. First, if you already have a question for me, please pause the podcast and call me on 732-673-0510. My firm specializes in business and income tax matters for businesses and families and offers the full array of services you would expect from a full-service CPA firm. As the name implies, this podcast offers advice for those of us working and living at the street level. If you look at your screen, you will see my website and phone number, both great ways to reach me. Today's podcast is going to analyze Elizabeth Warren's wealth tax proposal. Like many Democrats, Elizabeth Warren openly espouses raising taxes on the rich. You will hear them say that the rich don't pay their fair share. But let's think about it, though. Nobody ever defines what a share is, so how do we know if it is fair? Well, I finally did the analysis and scientifically calculated a share. If you look in the description below, if you're watching on YouTube, you will see a link to my podcast, Do the Rich Pay Their Fair Share of Taxes? If you are listening to this podcast within a blog post of mine, you will see a link to that podcast directly below this video window you are watching and listening right now. Once you've watched that and listened to it, you will fully understand what a fair share is. Then you can decide based on the facts. But that is not what this podcast is about. This podcast will analyze Elizabeth Warren's proposed wealth tax. But I must digress one more time before getting to that to show you the faulty logic that leads to Elizabeth Warren believing her wealth tax is fair and just. So again, like all Democrats, Elizabeth Warren continually says that the wealthy should pay more taxes. One major mistake she made is when she said that rich people have used infrastructure such as roads and other government services to build their wealth over time, and so they should pay something back. This is fallacious thinking, as these so-called rich taxpayers were building their wealth and using those roads and services, they were being heavily taxed on their income, and so they have already paid their fair share, and many times much more than their fair share. The rich have no further balance due from times they built their wealth and paid very high taxes. Instituting taxes under this premise would be double taxation, as the taxpayers have already paid for what she is claiming was not. Now on to a very similar instance of Elizabeth Warren's very faulty thinking and the true topic of this memo. Elizabeth Warren's wealth tax would tax the value of assets on certain taxpayers at a rate of 2%. Remember, the Democrats want to institute programs that will surely bankrupt the country, so they are searching for money they can appropriate where the masses won't complain about it. The rich are always a good target. Here is a quick example of this wealth tax. Let's say the limit is set to $50 million in assets. The taxpayer would owe $1 million in taxes, which is $50 million times 2%. This is not only double taxation, I believe it is theft. Remember that these assets have already been fully taxed. Now, what Elizabeth Warren tries to do is compare real estate taxes paid on your home with these proposed wealth taxes. This is extremely disingenuous and they are not the same thing. This is a setup to make you equate the two things. They are not the same and here is why. Real estate taxes are paid to a township or county for the payment of direct services you enjoy directly and locally. If you didn't get any services such as police and fire protection, you would not be paying any real estate taxes. Again, there is a clear and direct link between what services you are paying for with real estate taxes and rarely any such link with any form of state or federal income tax. A wealth tax is a redistribution of U.S. citizens' wealth to complete strangers in the form of government services. The wealthy will gain zero direct benefits as they don't qualify for the government programs that their wealth taxes will pay. Technically, all taxes are a redistribution of wealth if you think about it. So the wealth tax and real estate taxes are not similar in any way. 
I will leave you with a definition of taxes which I came up with a long time ago. Like most taxes, this wealth tax would be more coerced charity. And if anyone ever uses that term, remember, I created it. So what do I mean by this, by this term, coerced charity? Well, let's define charity. Everyone knows that I'm into defining things. Charity is the voluntary giving of help, typically in the form of money, to those in need. There is no expectation of being repaid. We usually have no control what the recipient of our charity uses our money for. Okay, let's define taxation. Taxation is the coerced or involuntary giving of money to those in need. There is no expectation of being repaid, and we never have control what the recipient of our coerced charity uses our money for. Taxation is therefore coerced charity because we could be financially penalized or incarcerated if we don't give our money to strangers against our will who are never obligated to pay us back. Do you have questions or concerns on this or any other topic? Call me on 732-673-0510. This brings us to the end of this edition of the Street Level Business Podcast. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this podcast informative. Remember, the moment you have a business or tax question is the moment you should be calling me. Have a great day.